Kilometer, member of the Counts Car Club. Uh, we're down here at the 22nd annual Counts Car Club. But you know, in reality, this started in like 64. I remember going down and do a little uh, show downtown. But uh, anyway, as through the years goes, so we've got some great, great cars this year. Uh, there's so many, they're actually coming out of barns. Okay, I'm Wayne Andrews, and what we have here is a 1988 Silver Anniversary Avante Convertible. I've owned the car now for about three years, and uh, it's a car that was built to compete with uh, Mustang and Corvette, and it's a very speedy car and has set several land speed records. Here sitting beside me is my wife, Ann, and she is the real, one that really wants to, loves and protects this car <laughs> and just doesn't want anybody messing with it, touching it. I'd like to explain a little bit about the inside. It's all original. It's leather interior. Its uh, dash is built uh, more like an airplane. Uh, the, the designer of it liked airplanes and was trying to use that in his design mode. Uh, everything is power, power windows, power seats, power steering, power tops. Everything is built uh, luxury wise. I'm Janet Young. And this is my Mark 8. It's a 1960 convertible. Rob gave it to me on our 30th wedding anniversary, and I was completely surprised. I knew he'd been working on something, but didn't know what until. This showed up in the driveway and I was speechless for the first time in my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it's been so much fun. And one of my favorite places to go is to Sonic to have a corn dog and onion rings with a tray on the side of the window. The, our kids love it and it's just, it's a girl car. Mm -hmm. And we, we love it, I love it. And What's it's, your favorite color? And my favorite color is yellow, and Rob restored it. It came in looking pretty rough, and he has pictures of all of the restorations that he did. Mm -hmm. So I know what it looked like when he got it, and it's beautiful. It's She's my girl. Hello, my name is Colt North. This is my Studebaker Champion. We found it on Facebook Marketplace, and we drive all the way to Wisconsin to pick it up, and it is a really nice car. Uh, this is our shifter. We, right now we're in neutral. When we come over to the dash, this is your gas ring. This is your optometer. Uh, this is your speedometer. There's 56,000 miles on this car. This is the oil pressure and that's the temperature. This car does have three on the tree and overdrive and it also has a heater. Now this is the heartbeat of my Speedbreaker Champion. It has a flathead six cylinder engine in it. Uh, and a one barrel carburetor. Hi, I'm uh, David Schwartz. It's my wife. Tracy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this is our uh, 1912 Studebaker that my Grandpa bought brand new. And um, been in the family ever since. Yeah, always been in the family. So, so 1912 technology here, and, and this is um, Dan Corrado here. Could be your cruise control if you wanted it to be. And then this is the, the change the timing on the motor. And then we got the magneto down here. And it's um, got a battery inside there. And you have to turn this there battery to start it. And then after you get it running, you flip it over here to mag. And that's all. And then you shut it in the middle, it shuts it off. And um, this could be the uh, Exhaust cut out there. Back then, the hot rod is put on now. And then this clutch, the brake, and the foot throttle. Okay. And then this here's the horn. And uh, speedometer went up to 60. I've probably driven it at 40, 45, probably top I've driven it. So. Yeah. yeah, I'm Perry Myers. That is my uh, 61 Studebaker Hawk that I restored about 22 years ago. And I, uh, we've been showing it. It just turned 20,000 miles on it the other day. We've been driving it to shows here and there and having fun with it in rallies and all kinds of stuff. It, uh, 
it, was, it had been a parts car when I bought it. A lot of parts were missing. So I had to, uh, I had to find a lot of parts. Uh, it took me about two or three years to find the parts for it before I actually got started on it. And then once I got going on it, it was a couple more years I had it done. Yeah, this is the interior of my 61 Hawk. It's got the engine turned dash here, which uh, came out in 55 Speedster. It was the first that used that. And they used it through the Hawks. 61 was the last year that they used that. And they had a different dash in it for the GT Hawks after that. I, I've done all the work on here except for the upholstery of the seats. I, I had another guy do that for me.